One day an old man receives an email from a young woman. How she got his address remains unclear. It is an apparently lonely young woman from a distant country. She comes from a village that occasionally lies in the line of fire between the Kurdish PKK and the Turkish army. A place that has the misfortune to be in the smallest corner of the country. On the border of Turkey and Iraq, with only high mountains as an environment. Covered with thick layers of snow in the winter. Google Earth has mentioned the name of the place, but has not made any images. That place is so small and insignificant, and especially inhospitable. As far as the place is mentioned, in a small circle of mountaineers, little is known about it. Authorities in Europe do not recommend traveling there because governments cannot guarantee the safety of the visitor. Her parents were once killed in skirmishes, when she was very young and she was raised by an aunt, among cousins. She has one good friend, who is now married and has a child. She knows her from the village and from the time she studied at the university, organizational science. She currently works for a utility company in the capital of the province. During workdays she sends emails, because there are not even internet connections in her village. She is 35 years old and if everything she writes is true then her biological clock is ticking considerably. After some bad experiences with men, she has been alone for a long time and has now discovered the internet as a way to get to know men. She says she trusts the old man. He is charmed by the beautiful young exotic woman. A few years before, he had a love affair with a young woman of the same age. After the death of his wife, with whom he had been together for 25 years and for whom he cared for two years as a caregiver, until her death. The question that will concern the old man and the reader or viewer is, is this real or unreal? If you took a cheap flight to the nearest airport, Ferret Mellon, it would cost you 300 euros in the cheapest season. For a stay of four days. But does that make sense? Can you get to know a stranger in four days? Or make a decision whether you would like to marry someone, at her age, this woman longs for a child and for security. Whether the old man can offer her that is the question. Moreover, how many years do they still have together? 10, 20, 25 years or more? And what will the conditions be then? Quite apart from the fact that the woman will have to adjust properly to a situation that is strange to her. Or could the old man be so crazy that he moved to the mountain village? Probably not. So is this a dream? Or nothing more or less than a temporary contact via email? Both protagonists might learn something from each other. Maybe he could give her the confidence that there are good men around her, just like her friend's husband. And furthermore, men are men, just who they are, just like women. In another culture, thos, the assumptions may be more pronounced. For an independent young woman who is highly educated it is difficult to deal with, moreover, she is of Assyrian and Christian descent in an Islamic country. A minority that is completely ignored and left to its fate at that intersection of fate and violence. The government does not even bother to repair the damage caused by the war. So will there ever be a solution for these problems? So that's pretty much the story. And we don't know how it will end yet. But if this really becomes a love story then we will notice it. It could be the content of a book. Or reality. About love, about impossible love, and about hope, personal development and the choices that people have to make in their lives. Whether they want it or not. Whether they can do it or not. Because what do we actually control? of our lives.